What's going on guys? We're back at it again with another ESO, little short one in this one, uh, however, because this is going to be the start of Isabelle's questline. Uh, it's probably only going to be like a three part series and I'm going to be doing it as I'm leveling up companions. For the first part of this, um, I'm going to do it with the YouTube character that you guys see in all my videos, but for the subsequent videos, uh, on this playlist is probably going to be done on my main character since he's the one that uses the companions the most. So that's the one I'm going to be focused on leveling. So if you see a different character between uh, episode 1 and episode 2, that is the reason why. But guys, I'm excited to get started on this. I'm very stoked at the release of High Isle and the release of the two new companions, Ember, as you guys saw in the previous video, and Isabel, which we will be getting in this video. So... Very excited to say the least guys, if you are to do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video, also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. Alright, we are finally here. I was so distraught, she's refusing to leave her rooms. So exciting. Scandalous. No doubt Isabel is beside herself. Poor girls. Isabel! I heard Isabel! What brings you to our tourney grounds here at Castle Navir? What <laughs> brings you? Have you heard the latest? The Knight Commander has offered her daughter's hand in marriage to the Sapphire Tourney winner. Everyone's aghast. Her daughter? I'm assuming that's Isabel? Uh, why is that a scandal? Well... Aurelia has been the most desirable hand on High Isle for years, but no one thought she'd ever commit to a match. Seems the mm. commander has forced the issue. So it's Aurelia, not Isabel. Can't the commander's daughter just refuse? <clears throat> oh no, that would be a slap in the face to her mother. And Aurelia is such a good girl. More scandal. Her friend Isabel is a participant in the tourney. She's sworn to free Aurelia from her mother's promise. I can't wait to find out what happens. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm, thanks. Maybe I could offer my help. If you help Isabel win the tournament, she could agree to marry Aurelia, then free her from the shortest engagement in history. Delicious! Delicious indeed. What do you want? Shut up, lady. So the quest brings me in this direction. I wonder how long it's gonna be before I get to, um... Meet... Isabel. Is that her? Yeah, talk to Isabel. Well, of course, I could've just looked at the thing. I'll figure something out. I always do. Oh, Aurelia's so bummed out. Can I talk to her? I don't know what I'd do without Isabel. Good talk! Hi, Isabel. I'm sorry, this isn't the best time. My friend Aurelia has a bit of a problem. Her mother has promised her hand in marriage, and I need to get her out of it. Somehow. Hmm. Actually, you look quite capable. Would you mind lending me a hand? And who are you? Apologies. My name is Isabel Valois. I'm an aspirant in the Sapphire Tourney, a proving ground for squires looking to join the knightly orders. Aurelia's mother is knight commander, and, um... Brashley offered her daughter's hand as a prize. Dude, I've been calling her Veloise. Isabel Veloise. I cannot pronounce names to save my life, and that is difficult to say. Apparently, it's Velois. Would have never guessed, not gonna lie. But, um, what are you doing? Uh, what are you going to get your friend? How are you going to get your friend out of this promise? Wow, that was very brain cells right there. Well, normally, aspirants only compete in one of the trials. If I can win all three, the Knight Commander will be compelled to grant a boon of my choosing. I can free Aurelia from her mother's promise. What do you say? Will you be my second? I'll help you, Isabel. The eight must have me in their hearts. My second just left my service, and here I was thinking I'd have to do it alone. All right, there are three knightly orders here on the aisle. Let's decide what task to tackle first. Um, you mentioned the three orders. What are they? How do they want uh what do they want us to do? The people of the sisters take pride in our knights, the same as anywhere in High Rock. The Sapphire Attorney hosts three orders the Iron Knot, the Oaken Order, and the Order of the Albatross. Okay, so what do you know about the Order of the Iron Knot? 
They're martial warriors and excellent a horse. You might say the Iron Knot is the most traditional of the Sapphire Orders. Our trial will be to find the hilt from a lost sword called Red Heart. It was the blade of the first Duke Dufort. Okay. Uh, where was the for uh, where was the sword lost? Somewhere on these lands before they belonged to the Duforts. The hilt supposedly had a massive rough cut ruby in it. Should be easy to spot. My last squire, Burjo, suggested we hit the castle library to get an idea of where to start looking. Okay. So what can you tell me about the Order of Albatross? Eight above, help me. They're artists and sailors. Singers, bards, and pirates all. Brave, swashbuckling warriors that make you recite poetry. Ghastly stuff. <laughs> Is our trial a poem? No, thankfully. Our trial will be to reclaim the gilded loot of Captain Brenvale. The story goes that he went down into the castle crypts years ago, hoping to use song and steel to subdue a spirit. He never returned. Hopefully we'll do better. Okay, yeah, hopefully. Well, tell me about the last order, the Oaken Order. Oaken knights tend to be battle mages, conjurers, Ooh. and support spellcasters. Their power stems from High Isle's strong tradition of druidic magic. Our trial will be to convince an elder to give us a staff, a symbol of their order. Druidic. There's druids now. Uh, do we talk uh, to the mage or fight them? I'm guessing it won't be that straightforward, but who knows? There's a way shrine near the Coral River to the east. I'll meet you there and we can make for the site of the trial. Well, let's get the staff of the Oaken Order. I'm no mage, but I think I might have a leg up here. Either way, it's going to make for a good story. That way shrine near the Coral River is our starting point. I'll see you there. Okay, really quick though, can we talk about what's going on? Of course. Drake, I'm sorry. I bet I came on a little strong. I've spent months preparing for the tourney. And now the commander's pronouncement has sent me adrift. I'll be alright. What would you like to know? Well, first things first, what does Dre mean? <laughs> sorry. It's a curse I picked up from my dad. A word from the old druid tongue that's been co-opted for common folk. Okay. I sort of grew up here at the castle, <clears throat> and it's a little more acceptable than the curses the dock hands use. So I use it. Got it. Why are you so eager to help Aurelia? Aurelia and I grew up together. We've been close since we were very young, and, well, I can't stand the thought of her marrying one of the other aspirants. Especially Morton's. My goodness, what a dreary man. <laughs> Does this tourney, uh, does this tourney happen uh, every year? Nope. The tourney is only called every few years, as schedule and aspirants allow. The commander wants to make sure there are enough people in the mix to make it a challenge. And the orders are only so large on High Isle, as you might imagine. How does the tourney work anyways? I'm not sure how Tam's folk tourneys work, but here each order sets a challenge. Attempting the challenge for an order marks you in good standing. And each order only chooses one or two aspirants for knighthood. It's fairly competitive as a result. So she's trying to be an actual knight. But speaking of orders and stuff, what order do you belong to? I'm not a knight just yet. That's why I'm in the tourney. I was a squire for years before I came an aspirant. You don't want to know how many stalls I've cleaned. The tourney gives me a chance to prove my worth to the orders, you see. Yeah, it makes sense. Which order do you want to join, then? That's a handsome question. Just like me. I wish I had an answer for you. I can see ways that I'd be a good fit for either the Oaken Order or the Iron Knot. Maybe even the Order of the Albatross. That's a problem for day's end, Isabel to face. <laughs> I like battle mages. Ever since uh, Oblivion. So, we'll okay, make you a battle mage. Shrine just up the road. You're going to help us. Yes. Oh, the eight bless you. Me and... Uh, Ember will help you guys. Let me get rid of that real quick. And head to the... Where am I going anyways? Where does my quest tell me to go? Oh, okay, I see. So if I... I now understand why she said go to the Way Shrine. So let me head to this Way Shrine. And then just port to the other Way Shrine. Which is right next to the quest objective. Makes it just a tad bit faster. Not much, because it's really not that far, but... Whatever, anything helps, I guess. Oh god, where was it? Was it this one? Yes, it was. 
I was scared. Oh, hello. Ugh. I thought I heard Snag yelling in the distance. He's another aspirant and a complete donkey's arse. <laughs> Never mind him. We're on a quest. Yes, we are. Right. The elder and the staff. Where do we go? So we have a bit of a leg up on this one. Do we? The elder is a wizard named Erlebrew. He's actually a friend of my father's. <laughs> he used to tell me stories when I was young. Funny little man. <laughs> and you need to steal a staff from him? I would never. <clears throat> Stealing is, well, unknightly. Knowing Erlebrew, the challenge will be more about thinking and reason than magic or subterfuge. All right. Well, let's find this wizard. Right. If I remember correctly, I think he lives in a little grotto to the south, near the coast. He likes his privacy, our Oaken Elder. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure I've heard of Knightly Order of Mages before. I suppose in the stories, knights are usually all swords and glory. But the druids have been here forever, practically. Every kid in the sisters grows up knowing a little bit about runes and nature and the true way. So the Oaken Order is a druidic group? I think they used to be, but no, these days anyone can join. Even non-mages who want to learn the ways of Ifre. Just another little quirk of life on High Isle. Okay, makes sense. I did not know that in Elder Scrolls, the lore is that you can literally be uh, a knight, a magical knight. Where the hell am I going? Am I supposed to go around this mountain? Uh, yes. It appears so. I was just going along with it. Oh, hello. Vel Veloa? How do you say her last name again? I already forgot, man. I'm not going to remember that. I'm going to end up calling her Veloese again. <clears throat> okay. Megan Brellin all beat us here. Who? Get behind me, squires. Snag oh, Snake. Oh, he's an orc. Uh, we arrived at the same time, you simpering buffoon. Breton, maybe? Well, you're still too late. A wizard's magic is no match for the strength and honor of this aspirant. For honor. Maybe an imperial. Whoa. Did he go in? All right. Seems like the direct approach won't work here. <laughs> I'm sure I can get this barrier open. She's gonna die. Did she turn into a cat? She turned into a cat. doesn't go easy on aspirants, it seems. Examine the pillars. Cat's paw. I think the trick to this is the pillars themselves. Take a look carefully. Cat. This one has. A plant of some sort? Look at that branch there. Representing Spriggins, maybe? Perhaps. Forest. Something pillar. It's a goose? A bird. Looks like a forest heron, perhaps. Okay, so tell me what to do. That old man. I know exactly how to bring down the barrier. He's lifted the pillars and the symbols from a story he told me as a child. So, this barrier is from a story he told? Almost exactly. A wise old sage puts up a barrier around his home. He's trying to protect a little girl he's raising from a fearsome dark night. She grows up to be a mighty warrior. Batman? And the sage makes her figure a way out of the sacred grove. Oh my god, we're gonna be Batman? The fearsome dark night? Oh, yes. How does she bring the barriers down in her story? In the tale, the symbols on the pillars held the key. Like the cat there. A cat's paw is a pretty little flower that grows in shady forests. And that bird looks like a forest heron. I'd bet anything we need one of their feathers. Okay, and the branch on the third pillar? I've seen it before. It's a druidic symbol for Spriggins. In the tale, she befriended one that lived in the grove. She wore a Spriggins veil, a wreath of leaves they shed every year. Here, if you can find the items, I'll guard our spot. Perfect. You got it. A heron's feather, a cat's paw flower, and a spriggan's veil. Let's go get it, Ember. We got... I always... 
Ever since they announced it, I always thought it was kind of weird that her name is Ember, and she's a sorcerer with a lot of electric-type weapon uh, skills, you know? It's like, I wish her name was, like, Shock or something. Something a little bit more fitting. I don't know. Just just my thought. I'm a little OCD when it comes that, to that kind of stuff, so... I like, to, I like for it to make sense. Ember doesn't make sense, other than the fact that it's an elemental, you know? Or an element. Ha! Dunzo. No, not the Spriggan. Spriggan's Veil. That was easy enough. Ha ha! Gather Cat's Paw. So there's three things that I gotta get. Oh god. Be very, very quiet. Ha ha! That's two! Wait, that's... That's it? I thought we had to get three. What happened to the bird's feather? Because we got the Spriggan's Veil. Oh, that's the other two guys. You're back. Carrying feathers and branches and flowers, I hope. Oh! I already have the flower. I just saw it on my little chat thing. Cat's paw. Beautiful. Okay. This thing is so finicky. I can't. It's. It... There we go. Spriggan's veil. Powerful symbolism. Good. Forest heron pillar. That did it. Hey, come on, Ember. Well, that guy dressed in all black kind of scared me a little. Enter Elder's Cottage. Can you talk to him? I'm all sweaty. Ew. Oh, hello then. Hi. Up my barrier, did you? Yep. Is that little Izzy I see back there? Izzy? Her nickname is Izzy? I guess it makes sense, Isabel. But yes, I'm acting as her second. Uh, she said you used to know her as a child? I hoped it would be her. She remembered the tale of Miriette La Courageuse, eh? <laughs> sure. So nice you two could come out, eh? Usually it's just me and the forest spirits these days. Uh, would you mind if we took a look? Uh, if we took your staff? Of course not. Solve the puzzle, take the staff. That's the idea, right? What's out back leaning against the cottage? Enjoying good health, second. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not even going to say his name. Off you go then, and be careful where you put that thing. That staff's like me. It might be old, but it can still zap the ears off a rabbit if you aren't careful. Were you hoping Isabel would complete your trial? Oh, <coughs> no, 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 that would be wildly inappropriate. I pulled this challenge directly from the pages of one of my favorite books. <laughs> Who can blame me? I'm a daffy old wizard. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sure, why not? No need to dawdle near the door like you're still a squire. <laughs> Thank you, you old goat. Still thinking of me all these years later. Okay, let's go get that staff. Where are we at? How'd you get out here already? Isabel, you creep. Talk to Isabel. Hey, girl. We've got the staff. I did. The moment I heard Earl of Brew was representing the order, I knew we might have a shot. Well done. Uh, are you glad that the Oaken trial is behind us now? I am. Those stories Erlebrew told me when I was little, they're a part of why I'm in the tourney today. And I won't lie, it's nice to know he still cares about me. Strange, lovely man. Let's move on. Uh, what can you tell me about the- okay, well, I already know. Poem. No, thankfully. I'll let's go find- let's go find that. Isabel? Aurelia, what are you doing here? Don't be annoyed. I, um, did sort of follow along. I'll catch up to you. I want to talk to Aurelia, make sure she's alright. Okay, sounds like a plan. So where's the next part of the quest? It is way back there. Oh god, I'm just gonna fast travel straight there. Oh well. It's happening. It's just, it's just this. Eventually. There we go. 
So meet Isabel at the castle? They give me strength. Of all the sneaky, dishonest... Uh, what's wrong? We've got a small hitch in this rope. The key to the catacombs entrance is usually right near the door. But someone took it. Perhaps one of your competitors? Drake, I hope not. The idea of aspirants trying to directly sabotage each other doesn't sit well with me. Yeah, me either, and but I it happens. See that look in your eye. No lock picking. But buff my plates. We still need that key. No lock picking? Got it. Is there another uh, key somewhere? Yes, let's split up. I'll go speak to the castle stewards, and you head for the offices of the Knight Commander. We can meet back here. Send our willing, one of us will have some luck. Okay, I'll meet you back here then. I still can't believe someone took the key. So childish. I bet it's Morton's. Morton's. Did you say Albatross knights are pirates? I mean, they're not <clears throat> real pirates. They're knights who ride the waves. Just swashbucklers. And sing. By the gods do they sing. There's an old joke around the castle that they're called the Order of the Albatross because they're so damned loud. Right. They want us to get a musical instrument. Yes, a golden lute. The story goes that some years back, the head of the Order, Sir Brenvale, went down to clear the catacombs of a mad spirit. I think it was some Dufort noble? I I'm not sure who. But Sir Brenvale never returned. Why did singing sail knights go after a ghost? I'll be honest, this is one order I'm not likely to join. They're an odd group. But it kind of makes sense. Just think of them as something like chivalric bards. They're constantly on the hunt for new adventures, new tales to tell. D okay, goodbye. Let's meet back inside the chapel. The catacombs entrance is down the stairs. Okay, will do. I'm not gonna lie. Her best fit, in my opinion, so far, we still need the last group, but where the hell am I going? The last group, uh, I haven't, I need a, whatever. I think her best fit so far, not counting the last group because I haven't experienced it yet, but I think is the Oaken group. It makes the most sense, you know, for her. Oh, mother, how could you do this to me? Uh, do what? Thank you for assisting Isabel. I'm so grateful to you both. Siren Mortens came by not that long ago and told me he already had a honeymoon trip planned. The audacity. The audacity. Um. Are you here to talk to your mother? I'm trying to muster up the courage. We've been fighting quite a bit. I made Isabel promise not to say anything. I didn't want her jeopardizing her place in the tourney. Okay. Can't the commander just admit she made a mistake? You must be new to High Isle. Yes, I am. My mother is Dame Jorvel, Knight Commander. She has never, in all her illustrious career, gone back on her word. Not once. She offered my hand in marriage, and by the gods, her honor means she won't unoffer it. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I love that title. Sounds so cool, Knight Commander. I hope there's a... I need to look at the new titles in the game, but I really hope Knight Commander is on there because I really want it. Uh, surely her daughter, uh, surely for her daughter, she could make an exception? Apparently not. And here I am, working up the nerve. Mostly pacing. I know Isabel can win the tourney, but I just can't sit idly by either. Ugh. Uh, Isabel and I are trying to enter the catacombs, but we can't find a key. Oh, one of the other knights probably took it or hid it. Cheating! Isabel will not like that. Yeah, I don't think so either. One of my mother's aides might have one. It's good she sent you to ask, though. Best she avoids the night's wing for now. Why is that? She and I have been friends since we were very young. Knowing Izzy, she'll want to avoid even rumors she appealed to my mother for help. I'd start by asking Dame Hendra. Nilsman might have a key as well. Thanks, Aurelia. You are a saint. There was some kind of cult, they say, right beneath the king's castle. Called him the Bad Man's Hollows. Bad Man's Hollows. Isn't that a public dungeon? It is. We did it on the channel, actually. If you don't have an appointment to meet with Commander Jorvel, make one. She's busy, as am I. The Nord over there can make the appointment for you. 
He's not writing that god's awful poetry at the moment. So she's the Knight Commander. I'm looking for a key to the catacombs. And I'm looking for a posting more interesting than pushing papers for Knight Commander Dorvel. Or playing politics with snooty nobles. Tell me, why should I give a key to the first peasant who comes wandering in off the lawn? Well, because this peasant has a surprisingly full coin purse. A bribe? How unexpected. Most people I have to deal with would rather get snippy and tell the commander about how rude I am. <laughs> All because I can't be arsed to be obsequious. <coughs> Refreshing. Here's a key. Try not to get killed down there. Okay, so maybe I under misunderstood. She's not the Knight Commander. But whatever. But no, it's not a bribe. It's a donation. But thank you. Okay. So we got the key. So back to the chapel we go. Ooh, this guy looks dope. <clears throat> back to the chapel we go. And... Now we have the key. Ha! I have no idea what just happened there, but okay. Let me in. I'm on a quest. Downstairs? Yes, unlock the catacombs. Excuse me, coming through, coming through. You've had better luck than I did. The I... stewards were no help at all. I am a little bit of a briber. Something tells me she wouldn't have liked that. Let's see if we can find that fancy loot. Sir Brynvale probably made it deep into the crypts. Not a problem for this man. Let me see where. Well, it's not These even that far. Homes have been built up over generations. Might be a bit twisty down here. Yeah, no worry. I got a map. Speaking of map, I think I need to update my add-on because it's not even on my thing. <clears throat> Makes sense though. Is it this way? It absolutely is. Oh! Sorry, Isabel, I didn't realize that we were still in combat. Aspirin Mortons? I'm here with my second. We'll try to help you. Whoever you are, I was here first. You gotta hang back. Turn the honor to man Um, are you stuck in there? No. <laughs> Well, good luck in there. We're heading into the catacombs. Just a moment. You won't get very far without the key to the deep crypt, which I just happen to have. Ha! Um, I tell you what. Well, when that thing surprised me, I may have dropped my sword. Return it to me, and I'll slip you the key. What do you say? All right, I suppose. We'll find your sword in exchange for the key, then. Okay, so let's look. Let me turn on the subtitles. Uh, gameplay maybe? Audio. I could have sworn I had those on before, but... Okay, so it looks like it's in this direction, perhaps? This place is a little twisty. Okay, so now I gotta go right. Hit this man. That guy, for being an aspirant, is not very knightly. Let's go. Oh, I'm about to say, I thought he was dead already. My daggers do so much more damage. Ooh, Yas Queen. That's all you got, my friend? Oh, no. It's not all he, she had, or he had. Got whatever it is. I need to make one room. Why do I have so much essence of stamina? Get out of here. Let me get that ring. 
What does it do anyways? My first item of this place. When you bash an enemy, play Sister Scowl, Scowl on them for 15 seconds. When hit by a light attack, a target with Sister Scowl takes 1,897 frost damage. Okay. I'm gonna destroy it though, but... I'll help you, my friend! Do I get another item? No. Where am I going? Okay, so I got the sword, so now it's back to the place. Where the homeboy was. Sit your butt down. And sit your butt down. It was this way, right? Yes. Sit your butt down. Whoops. I got I got way too ahead of myself. It's okay though, we got it. So now you need to give me the key. As if the found your sword, Mortons. My second will pass it to you. This guy's an idiot. <laughs> Did you manage to find my sword? <clears throat> yes, yes I did. Here it goes. Slide it, I'll uh, slide it under the door. Oh, very good. You know, I've always said that Isabel was a fair hand. Never doubted you for a moment. And here's your key. The door to the deep creek should be off the main chamber east of here. Okay, thank you. Yes, well, we're both sporting. Well done all around. Uh, I'm sure Isabel won't say a word. You're still a coward. Okay, good to know. It's literally just right here. Oh, dude, okay. Yeah! This guy did not even see it coming. That was easy enough. Just one, one defender here? It's nothing. Wait, hold on. I've never been this far into the catacombs. What a story this will make. Um. I'm not 100% sure where I'm supposed to go. It's okay though. Ember's getting a ton of XP. Ha! So many of them. It's okay though. None of them can take me out to the ball game. The old Mad Duke gives me the shivers. The Mad Duke. I bet you it's a. Never mind. What's up, buddy? Haha. -ha. That was cake. So where are we to now? I mean, there's literally only one way we can go, so... Sit your butt down! The Mad Duke. I bet you we're gonna fight the Mad Duke. Isn't that what she called it? There's no Mad Duke. Look, I think that's the loot. We've got it. Drake, let's get out of here. <gasps> Love! At last. Someone has retrieved my gilded loot. Come, follow me. Away from this place. That ghastly mad spirit may return anon. May return? Was there, was there actually supposed to be a boss here? I'm gonna wait. If there's a boss, I wanna fight it. I shall serenade you on your way. Oh, I wanna hear that though. Zebrenvale did enter these halls with a heart full of song. Love, it did not take him long to hear the spirit's call. Oh, he met the Mad Duke in combat. Oh, -ho! and they danced with swords all night long. Love, alas, Brenvale's skill was all for naught, and the quest went all wrong. Oh, I don't like the song. And now, you know the end of the tale. Oh ho! 
This is where I bid you adieu. Okay, so now that he said goodbye, I'm gonna go back down and wait for this boss, because I really want to fight this boss if he actually exists. So we'll wait for a we'll wait like a minute or so. Worst case scenario, he just won't show up and we'll just leave. I feel like I'm flying. There you guys are. You guys are protected now. Forever and ever. I don't even know if it affects them, to be honest. I know this one does. But I don't know about this one. Dude, this heals a lot, actually. Does... Blessing of Protection heal? Uh, damage to stamina and... And are healed. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go, guys. I don't think there's a boss here. If there is a boss, it's taking an ungodly amount of time for it to show up. But I I'm willing to bet there is. Why would these people be waiting here if there wasn't, you know? Okay, we'll wait a little bit longer. But not much longer. He will eventually pop up. Because he didn't say that the spirit was going to come back. So if anything, it's a ghost. It's got to be a ghost, right? Of some sort. Yeah, well, they, they, they gave up. Hmm. I'm about to give up. Watch, I'm waiting for this boss, if there even is one, and if it shows up, it's literally going to die in like two seconds. What was that? Isabel Beloa. What? Where would that name originate? Would it be French? I'm not sure. Dude, I'm at the end of my rope here. I think I'm gonna leave. Yeah, okay, I'm gone. Let's go. I'm not waiting any longer. That took forever. Okay. Talk to Isabel. Okay. Isabel, can I talk to you, ma'am? Ah, fresh air. Those catacombs were musty as a... Uh, you? As a crypt. You literally said you were sweating earlier, so I wouldn't be surprised if you were the source of the must. <laughs> Not quite how I imagined that would go. But we faced the Mad Duke, walked with the spirit of Sir Brenvale, and lived to tell the tale. I'm sure the Order will approve. Uh, the Gilded Loot of Sir Bre Brenvale is yours. How are you feeling? Good. Except for the make up a poem or sing a song about it part coming at the end of the tourney. That I'm less excited about. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Uh, what do you know about the Order of the Iron Knot? They're martial warriors and excellent to hold Yeah, we already know this. Somewhere on Let's go lands, get to the library. Go on. I'll catch up with you at the castle's library. It's easy to find. Big room, full of books. Can't miss it. It's back at the castle, too. Too easy. Oh, nice. So this is the last item we need, right? Because it was just the three items? <clears throat> Keep up, Ember. We got business to take care of. Oh, she's literally right here. She is keeping up. She is a Khajiit after all. So she's fast as a cat. There 
there you are. Oh, hi. Let's see if we can unearth the past, shall we? Will do. Uh, Mad Bear, Denzel. I'm not going to read these guys. If you guys want to read, just push pause. How rude. Same thing with all of these. It goes for all of these. I'll keep it up for one second. Just enough time so you guys can push pause. I found something about crop rotation. Exciting. Okay. Then there's this one. No other pages on any of these. <clears throat> Wait, hold on. There was this one too. I'll let you guys one second to read this. Whoops. The book was already open. I bet my old second Virgo offered the same advice he gave me to Aspirant Langley. Drake. Uh, I think it had a clue about Red Heart, Old Some Woods. Let's see. You're right. Looks like the Duforts had a hold fast there, before they became nobles. Oh wait, I know this place. It's an old ruin off to the east. Aurelia and I used to pretend it was a witch's lair when we were young. You knew about this place? Why did we need to look it up in a book? Well, in my defense, I didn't know it was owned by the Duforts when we played there as kids. We also didn't go looking for knightly relics, which now I wish we had. Ah, eh, fair enough. Uh, how do we get into the ruin? There aren't really roads back there, but I remember a nice wide path we can take. I'll mark your map. Maybe if we hurry, we can beat Burjo and Langley to the ruin. Uh, sounds good. I'll meet you there. I'll see you there. I'm hoping we can beat the other aspirants to the hilt. Why are we looking for a hilt? Did you say that I are not valued martial skill? Each of the captains have their own view on how to earn honor. I've heard stories that the Iron Knot's captain, Orlfeth, has slain trolls twice her size. So just swinging a sword won't impress her. She wants warriors that can think as well as fight. Does she hide this hilt out for uh, out there uh, for every tourney? <laughs> That's a funny thought. I don't think so, but we can ask her. The hilt itself is classic Iron Knot. A historic trophy from a mighty warrior who fell in single combat at a crucial battle and changed history with his blade. Okay, I'll meet you there. Goodbye. Nice. Dude, the soundtrack in this in this zone is beautiful. I love it. Probably one of the better ones in the game, in my opinion. Okay, so how far is this play? Oh my far? god, it is far. So before we start going on our way, we're gonna take a we're gonna literally Probably fast travel here and then just go that way. Because that is a little far for my liking. <clears throat> and this is a lot faster. This is the same one we went to earlier too, I think. So that, that way shrine is getting a lot of work. Oh god, what the hell is that? Yeah. Haven't seen one of those before. Giant man. It didn't seem hostile though. It didn't do anything to me. Oh, oh, oh. oh Madame Valois, you're too late. I'm here first. You cannot pass through. Uh, I guess what he said. Sorry, Isabel. Hurry up, will you, lad? Second, I've made over here. Let's and talk. You don't have much time to make me a meal. Okay. So what happened, Miss Valois? It's not worth a row with Langley over who can search the woods first. I'd best him easily, don't get me wrong. But blatant fighting between aspirants is frowned upon. Doesn't matter. I have an idea. What's your idea? Langley's first and last thoughts every day are about himself. He'll have Burjo working on moving those trees. Well, <laughs> until he gets bored. So let's just go around. That makes sense, I guess. It, uh, there's a way up? There's another way up, I mean? Remember, Aurelia and I used to play up by the ruin. Touche. There's a path around the rise to the east. Let's go carefully, though. We stopped playing up there when a fawn warband moved in. Not worried about it. Sounds good. Let's go. Hmm. She said go around. So let's, uh, let's go around the right. I like going right, man. I don't know why, but right's always my first option. Let me see. I don't see a way. Here it is. Just oh. like I remembered by the curved tree. The ruin should be at the top of the rise. Good. I'm glad you remembered. So luckily, some of these beasts are already dead. 
Is this it? This is it. The old stones, the locals call it. Let's find that hilt. Okay. I bet it's in here. Uh, it's not in here. Huh. Oh, it's right there. Found it. That's the last item. Come on, let's get out of here before Langley and Virgil arrive. Sounds like a plan to me. So back. Don't let the branches snap back. You scratched my armor. That guy does not sound very knightly. Okay, talk to uh, Isabel. I'm not sure it's chivalrous of me, but I hope that ours wastes the rest of the day looking for that hilt. Yeah, sure. Why not? We did it. Redheart's hilt. As a knight aspirant, I know I should wish all of my competitors equally good luck. But Stendar, forgive me. I hope Langley gets bitten by every mosquito out here. I guess. We got the hilt and the Iron Knot's trial uh, is complete. You must be pleased. I am. I assumed the Iron Knot trial would be all about swordplay and martial skill. Maybe horse riding. Horses and I don't like each other much. Anyway, I'm actually quite pleased how we did. Let's move on. Uh, we've completed all three trials, Isabel. What now? All that's left is to present the trophies. <sighs> Everyone will be gathered at the tourney pavilion. I'm excited. Yay! And nervous. I get a bit uncomfortable being the center of attention. Here, meet me on the jousting grounds. We'll head in together. Ooh, jousting. I'll see you there. I think I saw it. All three trophies. Let's go fast. Meet me near the tourney pavilion and we'll present them together. Okay, sounds good. Um, what was I going to say before she started talking? I don't remember. I don't remember at all. Where are we going though? Back to the castle? So that means way shrine it is. Let me in. There we go. Uh, that way. Dude, this has to be the end. We got, we did everything we needed. This has to be the end. Jousting, dude. That's gonna be so cool. Oh, yeah, I remember what I was gonna say. I think I saw, like, promotional images before the... Yeah, oh, yeah, I've seen this before. Oh, that is a cool mount. With a cool armor. Oh, this is... That's an NPC. I thought it was a player for a second. Alright, so what are we doing? Talking to someone over here. Talk to Isabel at the Tourney Pavilion. You saved me! Uh, I'd better go and take my place. I well, promised Mother I wouldn't embarrass her. We did it! I think my nerves are as settled as they're going to be. I get more anxious doing formal things like this than I do fighting werewolves. <sighs> Come on, Izzy. Deep breaths. I don't believe you. Let's go fight a werewolf. What do we do now? We walk in and the tourney herald announces us. I go forward and claim the trophies. As my second, you have the honor of displaying each of them as I call them out. Oh, cool. Oh, and most important, don't start laughing when I recite a poem. I am now extremely curious. You're reciting a poem? It's tradition, Stendar, help me. The Order of the Albatross requires it. Having you do this with me was more than helpful. You've been a calm and steady influence. A real partnership. Thank you. Let's just get through this last bit. Yeah, okay, I'm ready. Follow me. The sooner we start, the sooner it's over. I'm right behind you, Isabel. Present the red hilt. Are we Lords just- Lords and ladies, men and myrrh, a knight's aspirant approaches the stage. Lady Isabel Valois. Ah, oh, she did a curtsy. Proceed, madam. Your I'm... second may present any trophies you have won. Together, we found the hilt of blade Redheart, lost in a battle long ago. This we present to the Order of the Iron Knot. One down. Gone, aspirant Valois. To the Order of the Albatross, we present the Gilded Loot of Sir Brenvale. Wonderful. Now, perhaps we could hear a poem or <gasps> ditty about the adventurous. This is it. 
The loot of gold did gather mold last <laughs> for many years. I cannot lie, Renvale did die, tripping on a tomb. <laughs> that was, that was, it was it was not horrible. We present the Oaken Order with the, the staff Oaken of the Order wild you, After solving the wizard Earl of Ruth's puzzle, Aspirant Velwa, claiming all three trophies makes you the champion of the Sapphire Tourney. Come, you have earned a boon from your commander. From this day forward. Oh, that's cool. A knight of High Isle. <gasps> Be brave, courteous, loyal, and act with honor. Arise, Dame Isabel Velwa. Yay! Commander, I know what my boon will be. You may know as well. Please release Aurelia from the promise you made. Allow her to make her own choice to marry or not, as she sees fit. I cannot deny such a selfless boon. Aurelia is free to make her own choices, within reason. Within reason. Oh, thank the eight. Dame Isabel, I am deeply impressed. I wish to speak with you and your second. Find me in my office at your convenience. She's she became a knight, dude. That's exciting, dude. I'm happy for her. Uh, <laughs> it would be nice if I didn't get stuck, though. But okay. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through. Dude, I'm so happy for her. She legit became a knight of High Isle. That means I'm gonna have a knight running around with me all the time. It's gonna be amazing. <clears throat> this way? Okay. Man, this is making me go all sorts of places. Knight commander. Oh, dude. Well, Isabel. It seems as though your second was a great boon to you today. Second, step forward. I'd like to speak to you. I'd like to speak to you as well, ma'am. I've known Isabel. Dame Isabel for many years. It was encouraging to see her push herself like this. I believe your able assistance may have also played a part? Uh, perhaps. I was happy to help. Well, I believe a knight should not be measured by the worth of their weapon, but by the allies they keep. The Knights of High Isle pride ourselves on our courtesy, and I personally always wish to honor good people. Uh, I'm not sure I follow. <laughs> For acting as Dame Isabel's second during this year's Sapphire Tourney, I want to formally extend my thanks as both Knight Commander and as a mother. You're very welcome, Knight Commander. Hi, Isabel. What a day. I suppose that just shows what determination can get you. When the tourney began, Aurelia was in the depths of despair. I was, well, I was struggling. And now look at us. Congratulations, Dame Isabel. <laughs> Thank you. Take the credit you're due. You kept me focused, gave me a sounding board. And most importantly, I knew whatever happened, I wasn't alone. I can't tell you what that meant to me. I'm happy. I was glad to help. I still can't get used to it. Dame Isabel Valois. I dreamed about wearing shining armor, riding a valiant steed... So far, it's been crypts, creatures, and a lot of running around. <laughs> I've loved every moment. Except, maybe, the poetry part. So, what do you want to do next? I've been thinking. I have a place here on High Isle. But I think I want to expand my horizons. I would like to see more. Do more. Learn more. If you could use a strong and loyal knight of High Isle in your travels, I'm up for anything. Nice. So, full disclosure... Normally, you see a little image of Isabel right here. I have completed this quest, but I didn't pay attention at all. I literally sped run it on my main character just so that I could start leveling up, uh, leveling up, leveling her up a little bit. Uh, so I have completed the quest, but this is all new to me in terms of story and lore. So yeah, I'm happy. So let's complete this quest. Yay. So now we have Isabel. Me. I have to get my things. I want to get ready for adventure. Yay. So let's go ahead and activate. I think things her. Have turned out just the way they should have. Just be ready to see Isabel. I'm in your service. Here. A page has turned on our little story. Okay, good. Good to know. Ready to write the next chapter. 
So I already know exactly what outfit I want on her. It's this one. It makes the most sense for her. I do need to change her stuff though. In terms of mount, I'm not 100% sure what I want. This would look okay, but I hate this mount, man. I'm not going to lie. I, I really hate this mount. I'll probably put this on right now or, or for now, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. Um, Because really, I don't think there's anything else that I think would look good with a knight. So that's going to be her for now. That was awesome. Let's go ahead and go on our first adventure.